Spring Meets, everyone. I will be doing a reading for 1978 Sunflower. Um, I am so sorry for the wait. I know you, you had emailed me a while back, and you recently emailed me again. So I'm going to do this reading for you. I'm going to be using this new deck that I got. Um, I got it as a gift, um, actually today. I got a nice gift card from Barnes. So I went there, and I got this beautiful deck that I've been wanting for a while. This is the Enchanted Oracle by Jessica Galbraith and Barbara Moore. And this deck is beautiful. Um, this, I just had a reading and I fell in love with the reading. Um, it is so, so beautiful. And it's more of an advice oracle type, but it, it hit the nail with everything that I asked. Um, everything came out so accurate and I felt it. You know, I felt that the message was really, really strong. Um, these are the cards. There are 36 cards. And they're all, um, some of them are, w are witches, some of them are fairies. So they're beautiful. The artwork is very nice. The book is a gem. Um, it is uh, very, very nice. And it gives you everything in here. It even gives you rituals to do with every card. And it brought the little cloth. So, and a little fairy, which I have on my neck right now. It's this little fairy that came on. I don't know if you can see it. This little, little necklace came with it, which is beautiful. Okay, I'm going to do a four-card spread that comes with this book. It's called the four-card spread. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. down one two three and four okay so I'm going to start with the first card which is going to be this card over here um, the way this works is I'm going to um, basically read the the ma the message and I'm going to go by my intuition as well so both combination of both but these are very new deck to me I just got them today Okay, the first one is, this is what you need to take with you. Okay, we have the Tattered Dreams. Um, okay, there's a lot of spider webs. So there's a lot of new things that you've been working on. Um, so there's maybe a project you're working on that you need to take that with you and continue working on that. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and read really briefly the meaning of the card. So we get more insight and see. Okay. Something that you believed in and counted on has unraveled. A belief has ceased to be true for, a, for you anymore. A person has proven to be false. Um, an outcome has fallen far short of the expectation. Whatever has happened, it has reverting effects in your world. It, ha it is as if the foundation has been shaken and everything on it has fallen. Um, so basically, and it's also, there's a butterfly here in this, um, I don't know if you can see the butterfly, but she had a butterfly there, which means there's going to be this promised and it gives you hope to, for new things that are coming. So the first position, like I said before, is what is it you need to take with you? Basically, you went, you went through some kind of problem recently um, with someone that you do care about a lot and it looks like um, you found out that this person wasn't who they were or it could be even a situation maybe a project that you had your eyes on very much and it didn't go through as you expected so basically that's the first is saying to learn from that experience and to continue going forward with what you can get from there okay now, the, this, is, this oracle is so good because it gives you, like, a little ritual to do with that card. Um, and it's really, really interesting. If you want me to, um, I can email you the um, ritual that you could do for this situation that you're going through right now with this um, kind of 
unraveling of whatever it is that you're going through right now. Um, but yeah, it, it does, it says that there was some kind of downfall of some sort. Okay, so that's the first one. The second position is what you need to leave behind you. Okay, and this is the dark enchantment card. A lot of butterflies there, um, a lot of changes and transformations. Okay, so just looking at that, it looks like you need to leave behind, you know, what you've gained from the experience and basically move on. Okay, so that next position, is, the next card again is dark enchantment. All right, let's see. Okay, it says you want to go somewhere or to do something. You have convinced yourself that all is well. The choice will definitely further your goals and take you into a new direction you wish to go. Um, at the very most, you think it won't lead you too far. You say that there is nothing overly wrong with what you're considering. Besides, you really, really want to. Now, it says here, take a hint from the late moth. Don't go there. Whatever it is, however tempting, it is not good to be isn't it is not going to be good for you in the long run. So basically it's saying that you need to leave someone or something behind you. You really want whatever it is that you, you have in your life. It could be a person that you're with or a situation, a job, but it's saying to leave that behind you because it's not serving you well, okay? It's not um, serving you good in this moment. So it's saying, the oracle is saying to leave it behind you. The next position is your next step. Okay, and this is innocence. Um, look at the, the card, it's beautiful. Okay, let's read that one really quick. So this is basically, again, your next step, what you should do. So it says, care needs to be given, and it is up to you to give it. It may be a person or an animal, an event or a project. Whatever it is, there is need for you to focus, at least for a while, only on it. You, need, you will need to put it, some of your own needs and desires on the back burner for the time being. This card can also mean that you are, you are the one in need, and you shall accept the care and help that is being offered. So basically it's saying that if you are needing help, from this situation to take the help, to try to pray for the help that you are needing. Um, because it looks like you go, you've been going through some situation in which you uh, have been going through kind of a deceit type of situation. Um, and it's saying that if you need the help, to ask for it and pray for it and look for it because you will get it. The next and last position is you, the probable outcome. And we have Gothic. Okay. So let's read that one really quick. There is something you fear. Whatever the, the fear com may come from, however it is, however it enters your mind, however will it may have served you in the past, it is now keeping you from moving forward. If you do not face it, you are frozen in your place. If you do not face it, you will not only continue along your chosen path, but you will also gain strength and understanding beyond your expectations. So basically the outcome is you have a strong fear, and I, I feel it has to do with being alone, and it's saying that you have to face that fear and everything will be fine. You've got to face it, conquer the situation, and everything else will be fine, okay? So that is basically it. Um, this is basically an oracle spread that I did for you. If you want another reading, let me know. I will be more than glad to do that for you. I do have a lot of <clears throat> readings pending, but I will get to you as soon as I can. I hope this has helped. Let me know if you want me to email that little ritual for this, for this um, oracle spread that I did for you. And I will end many blessings to you.